In order to understand how your body moves, you need to understand a bit about muscle balancing. What I mean by that is the big muscle tug of war you have going on in your body at all times. A good example is your elbow. Your bicep will bend your elbow this way, your tricep will extend your elbow that way. You have the same thing happening throughout your body at all times. Different muscle groups working against each other as a pulley checking mechanism to allow your body to be upright and function. What you'll start to see is in certain groups of people will develop imbalances where one of the pulleys starts to develop a lot stronger and, and more controlled than the other. A good example is if you take a young girl that's, been, that's done a lot of dance or gymnastics or ballet from a young age, they get very uh, ingrained into them that being up as tall as possible is very important and towing out. So they'll get very dominant through their back muscles and very, uh, very flexible in one range through their hips, very tight in another. And they'll do what you call a back gripper. They very selectively want to use their back for everything. That's not to say they're weak in their abdominals, but they are relatively weak because they really overuse their back too much. And on, conversely, you'll see um, more athletic males that will tend to work out in the gym a lot and start doing a lot of crunches, a lot of sit-ups, a lot of bench press, a lot of push-ups, will tend to get stronger and stronger through here and through here, and the body starts looking more and more like this, where their upper traps start looking really big. And, but you ask, you ask them to start to try and lift their arms above their head and they have a uh, difficult ability just letting go and having the free mobility and movement. So with these imbalances usually come some consequences. And each sport tend, and the athletes will tend to develop their own imbalances which might make them very efficient at competing in their sport but usually comes with some consequences of pain, stiffness and soreness either during their athletic career, more often afterwards. So really creating an awareness of where you're coming from, uh, how you got there, you can start to unravel some of these things and help the body work, get the pulley me mechanisms working together to create efficient movement. And that's what I'll start to touch on in a lot of videos in this series of how to work on muscle balancing to, for better efficiency, athletic performance, and the elimination of subacute chronic pain.